Hello, I'm Fawad Chaudhary. I'm a consultant trauma and orthopedic surgeon in the Midlands Orthopedic Center at Russell's All Hospital, Dudley. We run a virtual fracture clinic services in our hospital. We aim to review all injuries referred from the emergency department within 72 hours. Patients are given initial advice and management plan through a telephone call following the review. This helps to provide an early confirmation of diagnosis and treatment guidance to all patients. The objective of this video is to give you guidance about the injury that your child has sustained around the wrist. It is called a buckle or a torus fracture. Here is an example of a buckle fracture around the wrist. It involves the forearm bones just around the wrist. Buckle fractures are very common in young children as young bones are still soft and flexible. Your child will be given a splint for comfort. The splint should be worn for three weeks. Elevate their arm to reduce swelling for the first few days. It is important for your child to keep the elbow moving to prevent stiffness. You can remove the splint and apply a cold pack. It can provide short-term pain relief. Apply this to the sore area for up to 15 minutes every few hours. The eyes must never be in direct contact with the skin. Please encourage your child to rest the arm for the first 24 to 72 hours to allow the early stages of bone healing. We do not routinely follow up these injuries as they heal very well. However, if your child continues to have significant pain after six weeks, then please contact us on the number provided in your information leaflet. Please follow the plan given in your information leaflet with regards to the splint. We will now show you a demonstration of exercises that can be done in the initial as well as the later stages of recovery from this injury. Hi, my name is Deanna Evans and this is my colleague Vicky Hawke. We are senior physiotherapists working as part of the Fracture Clinic team at Russell's Hall Hospital. We are developing a series of videos to help patients remember the information and advice provided by clinicians. Research shows that only 10% of information given at an appointment is retained, so this video should help our patients remember the advice given. One of our consultants has guided you through the information about your injury and how this is managed initially. Then one of us will help you with rehabilitation and recovery advice. Following a buckle fracture in your child's wrist, it is unlikely that he or she will need any form of physiotherapy rehabilitation to aid his or her recovery because they heal well through the natural passage of time. The following exercises can be commenced immediately after the injury as pain allows. They are helpful at keeping the uninjured areas mobile. These exercises are best repeated five to 10 times every one to two hours. Your child can increase the repetitions as they feel able to. With your hand resting in mid-air, bend your thumb and fingers to make a full fist, then spread the fingers and thumb apart as wide as possible. With your hand resting in mid-air, touch the pad of the thumb to each fingertip, then the base of each finger. With your arm resting by your side, bend your elbow to allow your hand to reach your face or shoulder. Straighten fully. Swelling is a natural part of the healing process, but it is important to manage excess swelling of the injured site. Elevation and finger exercises can help to manage this. Elevation of the affected area can help with swelling management. To do this, allow your child to rest their arm and hand on pillows and ensure the hand is elevated higher than the elbow, as shown. Try to keep the limb elevated whenever your child is sitting or resting. Once the cast is removed, it is important to regain wrist movement as quickly as pain and healing allows. Your child's day-to-day -day activities will assist in range of movement, function and activity. These activities can be helpful in the early stages to encourage movement and are helpful to work on little but often. Once the movement is the same as the other side, they no longer need to do these exercises. Stage two exercises. To repeat five to 10 times each and three to five times daily once the cast is removed. With the hand resting over the edge of a table or resting in midair, move the wrist and hand forwards as far as comfortable. Then in the opposite direction, backwards as far as comfortable. 
Rest the palm on a flat surface, then move the wrist side to side, as though you are doing a wiping action. Rest the palm on a flat surface. Keep the elbow bent and tucked into your side. Then turn your palm up to the ceiling, then down to the floor. Activities such as Play-Doh, art and craft work, board games and Lego can assist with the fine dexterity of the hand and wrist and can be performed as your child's pain allows. Once the movement in your child's wrist is equal to the unaffected side, your child can stop doing these exercises. Your child should be able to return to light activities such as writing, using a keyboard and self-care activities once the cast is removed. These activities should be built up gradually as pain tolerates. Extra rest breaks at school may be needed if your child is desk based for long periods. Your child can return to PE and light sporting activity such as swimming or running based activities from six weeks. Activities such as gymnastics or impact sports such as rugby are best avoided till eight weeks post injury. Finally, Although the information in this video is based on current knowledge and best practice in managing typical conditions, all individuals and injuries are different. This may mean your child's symptoms do not follow a normal course. If your child is experiencing ongoing pain or they are limited in what he or she can do, please get in contact with the Fracture Clinic for advice.